So it's day three of the build and um, getting on quite well because the weather's good. And I just wanted to give you an idea of uh, what you can do with a bit of timber and ingenuity. So the shed on the right is the one I built three years ago and now we're adding to it. So here we can see that I've cross braced uh, the new building back to the original building. There's the cross brace and that will keep the wall nice and plumb. When you sight down the edge of a, a building and if I show you, it should look absolutely straight to the eye as you come round. And everything should then fall into line like that. And then you know that it's plumb. There's some detail there of the purlins. Going up to the ridge. I already had a um, plastic seal. So I stood it off the 11 mil for the bore to go underneath to weather, make it weather tight, and then the window itself is flush with the structure, so that when the board, the board or the cladding can go over the window slightly by half an inch. So there's a view uh, of the two ridges of the original shed and the new tiny shed, how they go together. I'll just pan round so you can see the detail. There, that's it. So here's the detail of where the two sheds meet. And you can see the different angles up to the ridge and then over the top that's got to be made watertight each tiny shed meets at 90 degrees and the job for today is to get the 8 before sheet on and the purlins on that side so this is the shed which I built onto the shop shed and the shop sheds now uh, rotted and I've had to take it down but the shed I built is still standing so the sensible thing to do is build an extension onto the original shed that I built and that's what it looks like that's half of it I've got to do it in two stages because of the way the uh, ridge is uh, mitred in at angles and you can see the last eight before sheet has gone into position now and uh, just needs screwing down <laughs> 